it's Roya. I am back for another video as you guys can see here by the title. Today's video is going to be my 2022 wish list, luxury wish list that is. I am going to kind of sit down. I am unwinding for the evening. I just got my kids down. They are bathed. I am bathed. I've done my skincare. I am drinking a little Claude Dubois 2018 Cabernet Sauvignon. I've got my Tiffany's wine glass out and I am sipping. And while I was thinking about my wish list, um, I was like, you know, I'm a I'm just going to come to them as I am, okay? Alexa, play <laughs> Mary J. Blige as I am, okay? I'm going to come to y'all as I am, and we're going to discuss my wish list. Mm, that's good. I've never done a wish list. I'm a move in silence type girl. I'm not really into like telling everybody what I'm thinking, what I'm doing, what's my next move. I'm just not like that, I'll be honest. Um... It ain't always just worked out for me. Sorry, y'all. I just tied my hair up like this because I was ooh, putting on some moisturizer. But um, I've just never been that girl. But I've been watching everybody's little wish list. And I'm like, oh, I didn't think about that. I didn't, ooh, I didn't even know they had that. Um, so I thought I would share mine. I, like I said, I'm just unwinding for the evening. So I have on my Notori robe. This one's an oldie but goodie. I'll try to find one similar and link it for you. Girl, invest in a luxury robe, okay? Um, yeah, so we're just, you know, in pamper mode, relaxing, chilling, but we're going to share our wish list. Like I said, never done this before, but I'm going to share with you guys what I plan on buying this year. Also, on Instagram, I did ask you guys, um, because I was going to do like a bunch of little luxury unboxings, but a lot of you guys said you would rather me just kind of collectively do a haul. So that will come. I have some essays looking for for some things for me um so i'll just kind of build everything up and i'm thinking i'm hoping i can have everything in um probably mid february end of february we'll see um kind of like some spring summer things that i want to add to my wardrobe um so they'll be on this list i'm not gonna like point out exactly what they are or anything like that but they'll be on this list and so i'm gonna jump into them stop rambling but i am gonna keep, keep sipping so whatever you got, girl, it's probably going to be in the morning when y'all see this. Grab your coffee, your smoothie, your juice, bitch, your wine, if that's what you do, <laughs> whatever. But yes, we're going to jump right into it. Okay, so I'm going to make sure everything is up on the screen for you guys. But the first thing I'm going to do is talk handbags, okay? Um... I have about seven handbags on my wish list. It's really Louis Vuitton's fault because we fell back in love with each other. Um, and now they're hiking up on the pricing and all of that. So I just feel like, let me go ahead and get what I'm going to get. Because it ain't much, but I don't want to be out here playing games. I don't like playing games with money. Like, I don't like having the money and you like, mm, mm, mm. I don't like that. That's, I'm not that girl. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to try to get them. But. The first thing on my list um, would definitely have to be the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse in the reverse monogram. I gotta have this. Um, this is the birthday bag that I was speaking to. I just feel like it's me. It speaks to who I am. <laughs> uh, she's gorgeous. I just think it's a gorgeous bag. Um, having the Coach Cassie really solidified the fact that I needed it because at first I couldn't justify it. And then when I got the Cassie, I realized, okay, I can justify it. So I'm definitely going to get it. Um, just waiting for it to be in stock. I spoke with an essay about it. Even when I was in store, um, like I told y'all, I was ready to pull the trigger because I have already put coins aside for her. Um, but I don't want the standard monogram. It has to be. The reverse monogram. I love the fact that it has no vaquetta, but I get the monogram. I am not a big vaquetta girl. I do not like uh, baby bags or anything like that, especially now. I have children, <laughs> two of them. I don't got time for all that. Like the wrap something around it and do all that. No, girl, I need to put the bag on and I need to go. So, with all that being said, I just love the fact that I'm getting the monogram. And I'm getting the ease. So definitely on my wish list. The next bag is a kind of spring, summer 
vibe. Well, it really is a spring summer vibe. It's not even kind of. And it is something that I haven't seen nobody with. So first of all, let me give you all a little backstory. I was wanting to get the YSL Reeve Gauche or Reeve Gauche or whatever it is. Um, but then I, re I'm glad I researched because it was kind of like, okay, this bag is huge. I'm five two. Right now I'm 150 pounds. Ew. <laughs> give me them five more, Jesus. Just give me them five more. Um, anyways, um, you know, I'm not a big girl. So to me, it just, it was too big for my frame. So you guys remember last spring, I got the, uh, Marc Jacobs tote. Love it, love it, love it, love it. It solidified even more why I didn't need that big ass bag. Fast forward, YSL comes out with a smaller version. I like it, but it still doesn't, it did not warm me up in my chakra. So I looked at it, but mm, y'all, one day I'm just scrolling on Pinterest. Why did I see this bag? I am looking for this Jimmy Choo canvas logo tote. Y'all, this bag is haunting me. Number one, it keeps popping up on everything I do. Number two, it's not that expensive, y'all. The bag is like $395, but it's totally my aesthetic. Like, it's not big. It's not dumpy. You can tell it fits close to your body. It's a little more upwardly narrow than outwardly, which I like and prefer because of how I want to use it. I don't go in an office anymore, so I don't need that kind of tote. This is for like shopping, kicking it around. I got on a little sundress and a cute sandal, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, you know, and I'm just doing mom things and being me. So this speaks to who I am. The Reef Gauche was just like too trendy. And in my opinion, it was like, you're just trying to keep up with the trend. I don't want to keep up with no trends. I don't like doing that. That ain't me. I marched by the beat of my own drum. And so when I saw this, I was just like, I got to have this. So yes, this Jimmy Choo canvas tote, I am going actually going to in the next like week or so, go look at it in store. Like she's already accounted for as well. Like I got to have this. Moving on, um, this has been on my wish list for probably three, three to four years now. It is the Givenchy Antigona in either a small or a mini, preferably in black uh, goat skin leather, the sugar goat leather uh, with silver hardware. Yeah, and actually I almost bought her last week I am definitely getting this pre-loved. I will not be buying this brand new. Um, it's just not worth it brand new. You can search it on the pre-loved market, girl. She just ain't worth it. Mm. She's just not worth it brand new. So I'm not doing that. Want me doing that? Um, I found one. It was like $8.50. And the bag is originally retailing for like $2,300, um, which is right there at where I stopped. Like, girl, um... We don't look in the threes, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's right where I stopped. So, but at the same time on the pre-love market, you can get it in great condition for a fraction of the cost. Like I said, I saw one that was $8.50 on a uh, fashion file. I almost snagged her. I woke up the next morning because I had to ponder on it and I had to talk to the man above, you know what I'm saying? Um, and the next morning she was gone. So um fashion file does allow you to like follow things and stuff like that and they'll alert you when the price goes down so that's good but definitely on my list i don't know when i'll get it but it's definitely something i want to get before the year ends next thing on my list is another louis vuitton handbag and that will have to be the alma bb i am at a standstill this is another one that when i went in louis vuitton the other day if it was in stock i was going to pull the trigger on it um, it was not. So I would either want this in the Damier E. Bean print or the Epi leather with, uh, in the color black with silver hardware. Neither was in stock. I looked at a, uh, a orange colored one in store. Um, they didn't have the black one or the Damier E. Bean in stock. I love the silhouette of the bag. I just, I'm trying to decide. Honestly, I feel like if I get the Givenchy Antigona first, then I'm going to get it in Damier Bean and like, 
you know, vice versa. So that is on my wish list as well. The next handbag is still in the Louis Vuitton family. Um, and that is the graceful PM in the Damier and Bean. I think that this, if you are a mom, I think that this is the perfect little luxury everyday bag. Throw her around, knock her around, it don't matter. Play dates. If you're still in the office, if you still don't go in the office, it could take you, you know, from play dates to going to the office, to lunch with your friends, to brunches, church, wherever. It's just to me like the perfect everyday bag because it's hobo style, but it's not like overly sized. Um, back in the day, they had like the artsy and there was another style, the Delightfuler, I, I believe. But those are like bigger. I remember back in the day, if you watch Girlfriends, Joan used to have this big um, Gucci, like uh, horse bit, hobo style bag. And it, it, I liked it, but it was just way too big. This one is the perfect size. I love the Graceful. I think she's beautiful. And I just think she's the perfect everyday mom bag um again they didn't have any in stock so they didn't have it in the monogram or in the damier and bean i don't know that it comes in a different um print or anything but when i asked about uh either one of those they didn't have either one in stock like not to look at or anything so um definitely on my list it's not up there it's i mean uh, you know it's not high on the list um it may not get purchased till 2023 you know what i'm saying it's not on the frontal lobe for me but it's definitely something that I look at often and I think it's a really good mom bag. Okay last in the handbags category would have to be the MCM bum bag and I know everybody loves the Louis Vuitton one but the MCM one gives me more of a chill spring summer vacation-y vibe which is when I would wear a bum bag. I don't really foresee myself wearing one in the fall and the winter coats and all that i just don't see it but on some you know tank tops some shorts or some skinny jeans and some cute shoes i just think on a vacation this is perfect i think you could really do a lot with it i don't know it just screams to me so i don't know if this is something i'm gonna like you know like get really really soon but it is on my list and i feel like i kind of want it before the summer ends We'll see. It's not something I have an um, essay looking for me for right now or that I'm just like, oh, I'm going to pull the trigger on air or anything like that. It's another one that's like not in my frontal lobe, but I really do like it. And the Louis Vuitton one, again, the Vaquetta, it just turns me off and I'm just like, I don't want that. I want, I want that MCM one. In the Vasettos, I don't want it in the other colors or anything like that. I want it in the Cognac Vasettos, like girl in the summertime in a white shirt with some cute little cutoffs i just think it's cute so i'd do it all right so we're gonna move to accessories um i'm an accessories girl i like hats i like shoes i like jewelry um but i'm not in a costume jewelry um i'll be real honest uh we are like private jeweler people so i'm not really into the click clacks and the uh the, well i am into some of the cartier stuff because that is fine jewelry but like the the chanel earrings uh the hermes click clacks like i'm not i'm not i'm not cashing out bread when i could have me some little diamonds on my fingers and in my ears and on my neck you know what i'm saying like i don't like that i don't like that at all so i don't really invest money in that kind of stuff um yeah, I'm not even going to go down that rabbit hole, but I love accessories. So I'm going to share with you guys a couple of things that are on my accessories wish list. And the first being this YSL hat. Okay, I'm a mom. I'm always like in a ponytail, a hat, workout gear, running around. I think this is cute. I think this just jazzes it up throws a little luxury element in it. It's a new era hat. So I just think it, it adds like that little sports edge. And it's, it's all, it's like black. I love this. I have to have this. This is on my list for sooner rather than later. It is not on the back lobe. It's in the frontal lobe. I definitely need to have this now. Now. 
I even showed it to babe the other night, like just in case you're thinking, because I mean, shit, what's coming up? Valentine's Day, we got an anniversary, you know, Mother's Day, we got shit coming up. So if you thinking of your girl, think of me in that respect, you know what I mean? <laughs> I really like this hat. I think it's nice. It just looks clean and chic. And I feel like I could dress it up. I had really, really, like when I initially saw it, I thought a cute all black jogger set with those, um, with some dunks, some black and white, like um, Jordans or something. Yes, love it. Right up my alley. The next thing is a pair of Fendi sunglasses. Y'all, I need some for the spring and for the summer. Now, I just recently ordered some that were going to be part of my collective haul that's coming. However, Nordstrom rack, that is, because now that I found them, I don't really look nowhere else. They canceled on me. I'm going to show y'all the ones I was about to order. They were perfect. I want something that is tortoisey. Um, I really like the FF logo ones, but I want brown. I want summery, springy. I feel like the ones I have now are very fall, very winter, very get up out my face, you know. But I want something light and airy, and I think the Fendi FF logo is really, really nice for spring and summer. So I'm going to try to order them again. I've been scouring the site literally every day, multiple times a day. They haven't come back and nothing similar to them has come back. So I'm just going to keep a lookout. But uh, before it gets, you know, warm outside, well, shit, in Georgia, child, you never know. But before it's technically warm outside, I do want to um, get another pair of Fendi sunglasses in my collection, specifically like a light, airy pair. Okay, the next thing on my list is a pair of sandals. Now, I stumbled across these. I stumbled across these. Like, I was not, listen, I let the Lord do his thing. You know, I, I just scoured the net. I don't, he bring it to me, okay? Y'all, I was on Hermes' website and these sandals came up and I, They're, I don't even know how to pronounce them, but they're perfect. You guys know the uh, Oran sandal is like so popular. Everybody loves it and that's great. However, I feel like because of that, I really don't want them. I have a slightly wide foot. They look very narrow to me. I don't really think the price point is for me to be in pain, especially not in a flat. I just don't like doing that kind of stuff to myself. These are not overly logo-y, they're rubber, they're black, they're gonna go with everything. I see it with maxi dresses and sundresses, cute cutoff shorts and skinny jeans. I just see these sandals with everything. Um, so I'm getting them. They're by Hermes and I, like I said, I can't pronounce the name. I ain't even gonna butcher it and I, I'm into the wine, so we really not gonna go there, but I'll put it across the screen for y'all. But I love these, I think they're gorgeous. I definitely have to have these. Next thing on my list is uh, a Twilly of some sort. I don't have any more in my collection. I used to have them back in the day and I've sold them since. Um, they were, actually I only had two. Um, and I sold them because they were actually given to me. They weren't even something that like, I wanted. They were by Ferragamo. Someone passed them down to me. I was like, mm, eh, I ain't want them. I sold them. But there's a Fendi one that I have been looking at that I really like. And there's one from Louis Vuitton I've been looking at that I really like as well. Can't really make up my mind. And the Louis Vuitton one's never in stock. So I'll probably end up going with the Fendi one. But I definitely want to add one to my collection, specifically to wear in my hair, especially because I'm a ponytail girl. Um, Next up, I would like a pair of Gucci tights or Fendi tights. I think they'd be so cute with dresses in the fall and winter, sweater dresses, stuff like that. I think they uh, effortlessly kind of zhuzh up things, so I would definitely get a pair. Um, the next two things are pre-loved items that I really want to add to my collection. I don't have a whole ton of items that I want to buy pre-loved, but these are definitely two that I want to add really, really soon. The first is the old model of the sunglasses case. I'm going to put up the picture of it here. 
I just love it. I think it's really, really nice. Um, I have like my old Celine pouch that I keep my sunglasses in, uh, which is fine, but it's starting to like, you know, just look ratty and tatty. And so I feel like why not invest in a nice one? This one's really nice. The new version I'm not a fan of is kind of bulky. This one's more of a pouch, so it would do just like my Celine one and just kind of fit and form and mold its way in my bag. So I prefer this one. I have seen a lot of them on eBay. Fashion file is overcharging and taxing, so I ain't fooling with them with that. So I'll be getting it off of eBay. I'm just scouring because a lot of them have like cracks in the canvas. So I'm trying to find one that is really in impeccable condition and under my $300 budget because I do not fool around with pre-loved like over $300 when it comes to like that kind of little minimal shit like you ain't getting more than $300 tax tag and title I ain't playing no game. Next thing is a trousse or truce 23 you guys know I got the 28 last year I think the 23 would be perfect to just like tie in my little luxury travel accessories so at some point this year I'll add it don't know when but I definitely want to get one last but not least actually I skipped the handbag so we're gonna go to this handbag and then we're gonna go to this last accessory um this handbag that I skipped was the Louis Vuitton pochette accessories okay I got this bag last last year in 2005 for graduation and I sold it maybe like five or six years later it was like in 2010 or 2011 um and I really am mad that I did I would prefer this in new or old so if I can find it in a new version it's a little pricey it's 1050 I think because when I got mine I think it was like four something um like four or five hundred dollars I think it's it's gone up in price and it's ridiculous but at the same time, I'm kind of like, I want this. I love it because it's like the perfect, again, like mom bag. Like if you're trying to do something really quickly, I don't know how y'all move in these COVID streets, but I don't be doing much. I literally go to this little like grocery store that's by here. Sometimes I'll run to the Dollar Tree. I pick Caden up from school occasionally. I work in my home and I plan my trips like to the mall and shit. And all my Nespresso come to the house now. I don't play no games. So I don't really go out a lot. So I just feel like this is the perfect. I'm going to wear it crossbody. I'm going to get like the, I'm going to buy the strap that goes to it as well. But, I'm, and this is like in my middle load. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to get it right right now because it's never in stock. But I'm stocking it on eBay because I already had the old model. So I know it's you know, a good bag. So I don't mind getting one pre love. They just be in trash ass condition and that bothers me. Okay, and then last but not least on the accessories list is the Ferragamo reversible belt. Um, I love this. I don't want the Gucci belt. I don't want the YSL belt. I don't want, I want the Ferragamo. The, it speaks classic to me. This is classic, classic, classic. The Gucci belt is just so... I don't even want to see it it's so played out I do not like seeing it like get you something else like every time I see it I'm just like get something else like I just don't like it um but the Ferragamo belt just screams classy to me it's just like if you know you know like well I, I'm not here for the logos and the this and the that it, as you can see I'm not that's it's not where my heart is I'm one of those people like because when I'm out I just, I know fashion, you know what I'm saying? I know things. So for me, it's just like, oh, okay, girl, I see you. Instead of poop, poop, pow, I see you. I don't really like that. So I want the Ferragamo one. I want the reversible one, the one that's in a camel color on one side and then black, I think it's walnut and some other color on the other side. It's at Nordstrom. It's like $3.95, so it's not a bad price point. But I think it's something you'll have for years as far as an accessory. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, it's on the middle lobe. I don't really need a belt. I don't wear belts like that. But I just, when I do want to wear a belt, it screams classic to me. So, All right, you guys. That is my 2022 luxury wish list. I hope you guys enjoy. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm a little lost in this sauce. <laughs> um, but I had fun. I had fun sharing with y'all. You know, all the things that are on my wish list. I have fun watching these kinds of videos. And I'll be honest, 
this is one of the things that I said I'm going to do this year because I've been a little nervous to share luxury stuff sometimes, y'all. People be hating and I'm not even going to go down that rabbit hole, but just sometimes it's a little awkward. Um, but it has been my mission to kind of just jump out on a limb and say, you know what, Roya? To hell with what other people think. You like what you like, do what you like. And the people who are here gonna understand that. So if you're an oldie but goodie, thank you so much for coming back and joining me. And if you're new, don't forget to hit the subscription button on your way out. Girl, I'll see y'all later. These kids are making noise. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.